Good morning, good morning, good morning. You are tuned in to Walk in Purpose with Angela. I am your host, Angela Thomas Smith, your purpose strategist here to encourage you into your purpose. Today we have Dr. Virginia Bradshaw. She's our special guest on today. Dr. Bradshaw, are you on? I'm here. I am here. Amen, amen, amen. So before we get deep into the show, you know, I always like to start with a prayer. So I'm going to lead us in prayer, and then the next voice that you hear will be that of Dr. Bradshaw. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I thank you yet again for opportunity to come before your people, Lord God, and to share what you would have us to share on today, Lord God. Lord, I thank you for our guest on today, Lord God. Lord, I ask that as she pour out into your people over the airways, Lord God, I ask that you fill her up fresh and anew, that she may continue on this journey, Lord God. Lord, I thank you for a very existence on today, Lord God. Lord, I thank you for this platform that you've allowed us to be able to share before your people, Lord God, because some people are hurting out there, Lord God, and they need to know that they can recover from what they're going through, Lord God. So, Lord, I thank you for this platform. I thank you for this for the Kingdom Influences Broadcast Network. I thank you for Dr. Bradshaw on today, Lord God. Lord, I ask that you build her up, that she may go boldly before your people as she share her journey on how she's walking in purpose. Lord, I thank you these things in your son Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Dr. Mm -hmm. Bradshaw. I just want to thank you for sacrificing your Monday morning to come on the show and to share your journey on how you're walking in purpose. So if you would just share a little bit about yourself with the listeners on today. Well, uh, let me thank you first of all. Let me thank you first of all, Ms. Thomas, for even giving me this opportunity to share my story, to share my life, my experiences, uh, my walk, my God. Just, just thank you for the opportunity. I know that it was truly God that allowed this to happen. So I'm grateful to you. Amen, amen. And as you said, I am uh, Dr. Virginia Bradshaw. I am senior pastor of uh, Tabernacle of Praise Church. In 2013, God allowed me to birth that church into the existence, and we started here in my home. Um, and um, we stayed here for about one year, and then God led us to the south side of Atlanta. So now we are located in East, I mean, excuse me, College Park, Georgia. We're at 2459 Roosevelt Highway, uh, College Park, Georgia, Suite C4. So we've been in existence now for five years, and this is what I do. I, I am a teacher of the word. I, um, I, I do three Facebook Lives a week on uh, the word of God teaching as God has given me the ability to teach. That is my gift. That, that is my call, and that is what I do. I also have a radio station that I do on Wednesday on Love 860. It's called It's Just Me with Dr. V. And uh, I do that on Wednesdays from 2.15 to 3 o'clock. Again, it's a teaching ministry. It's a teaching. I am a teaching preacher, and this is what God has called me to do. So after many years in seminary, um, many years under my pastor, 17 to, to be exact, uh, and just studying the Word of God, God has given me that ability not only to teach it um, to teach the Word of God, but even in my work zone, I, I worked 20 years in, excuse me, 40 years in customer service, 20 years with the last job that I had and retired in 2015. And uh, and this is what I do. I'm customer service all the way around from 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 ministry to to personal contact with people every day on the job as how to maintain uh, on their job and how to teach companies how to um, maintain good employee um, ratings and moral support. Amen, amen. I tell you, <clears throat> it's truly a blessing to be able to teach God's word to um, to people. So I, I thank you for walking in obedience because um, I know that you, you you probably had some backlash and, 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 a, and a lot of people coming at you when you decided to walk in your calling and to really – um, do what God has called you to do, to take on that mantle as a teaching minister, a, a, a teaching pastor, I would say. So I yeah. applaud you on that. Yes, I, I took a lot of backlash. But, you know, as you know, um, women, 
<laughs> women have always had a heart in the ministry, and since I'm an older preacher, of course, when I came along, it just wasn't heard of to, you know, to stand up in the pulpit and preach and definitely not call yourself anything like a, a, a minister. You would be labeled an evangelist. You can have that title, but you definitely can be labeled as a minister, and, and I've been a minister since I've been ordained because when the Lord called me, he called me into the into the position of a minister. I'm a servant. It's just a servant. But I was never uh I was never led by the Lord to be called an evangelist. So coming along during my time, of course, um, people wanted to push me in the area that they wanted me to go in because of the times and, and the different areas that we lived in and the belief that people believed that women uh, were not called to preach. And then when God called me to birth this church, it was another issue that God really didn't call me to pastor a church. So, yes, a lot of backlash. But then, you know, you're going to have that in any call that you have. I don't care what it is. But I give God the praise because even going back, way back when God was preparing me for this, when all of my brokenness was taking place, this is why I can teach with authority because I have lived this word. I have I have seen Jesus in my life. I have seen him work the miracles in my life, and I have seen him brought me out as being a, um, as being a suicidal survivor as being a a recovery drug addict, 10 years of crack cocaine on the street, you know, living, you know, and came out with a right man with no diseases, no life-threatening diseases. You know, I, I'm giving God the praise. So it's not like I made this pack overnight and, you know, and while I here I am today. I, I've been at this for probably 30 years or so, but it's been a long time. <laughs> but to God be the glory. To God Amen. be the glory. Amen. Man, I tell you, I tell people quite so often that, you know, sometimes we wonder why we're going through stuff and why we must go down this road, why we must have, why we have to go down this journey. And I tell people all the time that <clears throat> sometimes the things that we go through ain't always for us. It's for the people that we're going to come in contact with, the people that we're going to minister to, the people that, you know, God has already ordained to be a part of our life. And by us not walking in our purpose and chasing our dreams, then we're hindering other people from chasing their dreams and walking in their purpose because God has connected connected people that are supposed to be connected with people that are supposed to help them into their purpose. So I thank God for you on today because you're definitely walking in your purpose. You're definitely chasing your dreams, and you are, you're doing it um, in obedience to what God has called you to do, and I thank you for that. I thank you that you were obedient and you stepped out on faith and you, you, you walked into the calling because if you not, just think of those lives that are connected to you that may have been st- standing still and not birthed what needed to be birthed that was birthed through you. So I thank God for you on today. Um, I know that um, you are a pastor. Is there any other um, titles that you have? Because, you know, nowadays we all have many titles and many things that we're doing for the kingdom. Well, you know what, Ms. Thomas, let me tell you, I'm, I'm a pastor, I'm a minister, I'm a servant. Um, I stick to what my call is. My call is teaching, so I teach on every level. I teach, I teach online Bible studies. I teach, um, I teach theology classes, free theology classes from my church. You know, so I stay in the area that God has gifted me in. And when I go outside of the area, it's dealing with customer service because I worked in customer service uh, from a job that I retired from, and from over the years, um, my background was in customer service. So now I started a company um, in two thousand. 2007 called Nuggets of Intellect, and this is where I go out and I just speak to the employees of different companies, you know, training them on how to be, uh, how to establish what line of customer service should you be in, why are you so miserable on your job, giving them an understanding of who they are in that area because customer service is, is every level. It just depends on what your level is, whether you're frontline customer service or whether you are in the back room customer service, no matter where you are, but you've got to be in the right position position of customer service. So I do do that. But my main thing is just teaching people what I know and giving it back as God has given it to me. But what I do want to say is that the thing that I had to remember in getting here, I had to be consistent and persistent. And this is how I got here to my purpose. 
not giving up when it got rough, not giving in when somebody told me no, not not just not lacking and slacking because it wasn't going my way. Even when I didn't see it coming through, even when I didn't know how it was going to go, even when I had no idea, even when everything else was lost, I stayed consistent at what I know God had called me to do. And that's the key of being successful in any purpose. Just stick with it. It has to you. You have to you have to stay with it in order to to craft it in the way that God wants it to be. Amen. Amen. I know somebody is probably listening, um, and and they're probably at their bottom. They they're probably at the lowest point in their life where they can go no lower. And I, I just want you to speak to their spirit, man, on today and encourage them um, <clears throat> to walk in their purpose. Well, this is what I would say, because this is what I would say to me that was sitting in that corner that night that I wanted to, to end my life. I was sitting in the corner, and I, I was thinking, wow, this is the end of it. I've done all I could do. I've, I've, uh, I've made bad choices in my life. I did things that I should not have done. I said words that I should not have said. Lord, I know I'll never be forgiven by people, and I think I allowed people to drive me to that point where I was. But what I would say to myself sitting right there now Girl, this is not the end of your life. This uh, Man, this is not the end of your road. Do not get comfortable in your bondage. Get up and get to moving. So what? You made bad choices, but even the bad choices was on purpose. We were built for a purpose. God did not create us because he felt good one day and said, mm, I just believe I'll let them have breath and come here and live. No, he set us here for a purpose. As you said earlier, we are connected to people, and somebody is waiting to see how we came out of it. So get up, get started, and start changing your perspective, and you can change the way you think it. Then you can change your entire environment. Get up. It is not the end. We get too comfortable with our bondage, and we make peace with it, and we say, oh, it's okay, it's okay. No, it's not okay to be in a bad relationship. It's not okay to be taught too disrespectful. It's not okay to be in a depressing, despair, hurtful situation where you can't get out. No, it's not okay to be in peace with your bondage. It is not okay. It is not okay, and that is not what God created you for. But he loved you. He sent his only begotten son to save you, to give you the freedom that you so direly look looking for, not the freedom that people give you with restraint, but the freedom that he gives you with a freeness to choose him and to live for him and to live within that peace that only he can give you. Amen, amen. I thank I thank you for coming on today and and sharing. Um, <clears throat> you're listening to Walk in Purpose with Angela. I am your host, Angela Thomas Smith, your purpose strategist, here to connect you with your purpose. And you are listening to Dr. Virginia Bradshaw. She's our special guest on today. She's the founding pastor of Tabernacle Church in um, College Park, Georgia, and I am honored to have her on today. There are some listeners that are just tuning in, and um, I don't know if we shared your links or not, but if you would share, I know you have some shows that come on. Um, we love to share how um, our listeners can get in contact with our um, guests. So if you would share your links um, for your shows and um, your website and how our listeners can connect with you after this show. Well, I, um, I can, the, the website would be T of Praise. 13 at gmail.com. That's our church website. Uh, that's our church email. I'm sorry. And our website is www. Uh, top, top, top church 13. Um, top church 13.com. That's our website. But then also, I'm on Facebook as um, Dr. Virginia. It's just me, Dr. V. I'm on now under our church page, which is Tabernacle of Praise Church, College Park, Georgia. I'm on Instagram. Um, under It's Just Me, Dr. V. Also, I have three uh, Facebook Lives that I do, 45 minutes, three days a week, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturday at 10 o'clock to 1045. And I am teaching the adulterated truth of the Word of God. That is what I'm doing. I'm doing nothing else but teaching the Word of God. 
and I'm applying it to my life, and I'm praying that people are applying it to their lives, but that's what I do. I'm just teaching the Word of God. Amen, and you're doing exactly what you're called to do, and I thank God for that because there are so many people out there that are hurting, and they need to know that they're, they're not alone, that we have been where they are. And Amen. This is just as we have overcame, they can overcome too. And I thank God for this platform for allowing us the opportunity to come on here and to share our stories that will maybe help someone come out of what they're in um, that will help deliver them. Um, So I thank you for coming on. Um, Is there anything that you would like to leave the listeners with on today? Yes, I would. I would like to leave with them today. Do not get caught up in other people's request for your life. Seek the one that created you, which is God. Let him be the one that directs your path. Let him be the one to lead all your connections. And therefore, you will save yourself many heartbreaks, many, many different emotions that you have to go through. You're going to go through suffering. You're going to go through pain. But you don't have to go through any that's extra added. You're just going to go through those for the purpose of growth because God is going to allow us to go through all things for growth. But if you just listen to his voice and stop allowing people to live their life through you or in an expectation and remove all expectation that you have from people, because that's a bondage that people have you in. When they don't when they don't reach the expectation that you have for them, it puts you in another mindset. It puts you in a mindset that offsets you and your purpose and your plan and God's plan for your life because you can't hear him in an anger fit. You can't hear him in a bitter mode. You can't hear him in a disappointment mindset. You can't hear him. But if you remove the expectation of people, then you don't allow people to put the expectation on you. Just seek the Lord in his way for you, and I promise you your life will be much, much clearer, much better, much freer. (laughs) It'll be awesome. It'll be awesome. That's the life that I'm living now. Amen, amen. And I thank you for sharing. Um, Before we leave this morning, um, I I want you to pray for the listeners and um, those that may um, hear this um, when it's played back later on. Um, But if you would just pray for the listeners and and pray for those all over the world that may be hurting. Amen. Father, I just want to thank you on today. God, I give you praise, honor, and glory. As I come to the throne of grace, God, I come with a humble heart today saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you just for mercy and grace on today. Thank you for your son. But, Lord, if there's anything that I've done, Lord, that may have taken us out of fellowship, God, whether it was a word I spoke, a deed, a thought that I may have had, Lord, I pray for forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for your son, Jesus. I thank you, God, how he came and saved us, God, how now he sits on the right hand making intercessors for your people. I thank you, Father God, today. And, Lord, as we continue on in this prayer, I ask, Lord, that you will bless those that are under the sound of my voice that's listening to this prayer on today. There's somebody, Lord, that's sitting in a corner that I was sitting in. There's somebody walking the street that I walked all night long looking for another hit. There's somebody right now ready to take their life. It's somebody right now looking for some more drugs. It's somebody right now having to go through the battle situation. Situation. God, just have your way today. The abuse situation, have your way today, Lord. Set the captives free. That's what the word of God is for. Father, I thank you today that people all around the world are hurting today. Lord, let your hand be on their lives. Lord, touch them where they are, Lord. Let them know that. That God, there's nothing, there's no situation that you can't handle. There's no problem that you can't correct, Father. And, God, I pray that they will just surrender their all to you on today. If they don't know you as their Lord and Savior, that they will say, Lord, 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 please be my Savior today. That they will receive you in their heart. That they will, re- in, in return, receive eternal salvation, Father. Lord, just have your way today. Father, I ask now that you will bless our children, God. God, all over the world, God, remove that peer pressure, God, remove that 
bullying from them, them, Lord, that bullying spirit, God, that's going around. God, I pray for those gangs that's calling themselves gangs, God. I pray that you go in and, God, and you discombobulate that game right now in the name of Jesus, that you will send those children home free in their mind and free in their spirit, and you will go to their homes and you will correct their homes in a way that even how they got out there to be in these games. Lord, just have your way right now. Have your way in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for everything that you're doing. We thank you for those that don't even know you down in the free part of their sin, but God, that they will get to know you in the name of Jesus. Lord God, just have your way today. Have your way today. Pray for marriages, God, the community God, our schools, God, these marriages are breaking up today, God. Oh, the enemy is busy, but God, we know that you are even more powerful. We know that you sit more higher. We know that your throne covers all. So, God, we thank you today that you will call that marriage back together. You will call that wayward husband back in there. You will call that wayward wife back in there. You will set that child in order. Father God, just have your way right now and let your will be done. Let your preacher stand up and preach the word. Lord, let them give out what you have poured into them. And, God, we give you praise. We give you praise. We pray for the woman of God that has opened up her platform to put us on here on today. We thank you for Miss Thomas, God. We thank you for Miss Thomas, God. Continue to bless her family. Bless her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Continue to elevate her platform as she takes us higher and higher in Jesus. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We love you. In the name of Jesus, we say amen. 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 Man, I thank you for coming on um, today. I thank God for you. And before you leave, I just want to pray over you that God continue to bless you, continue to strengthen you. And as you've poured out until you get people on today, I ask that he fill you up anew, that he may continue on this journey, on this journey teaching and preaching to his people. I thank him. 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 Every head. Every hair on your head, I thank him from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I ask that he bless you abundantly for your sacrifice on today because I know it was truly a sacrifice. And I thank you for being obedient and willing to come on and be transparent and share on today. Lord, I ask that you continue to build a fence around her, Lord God, as she continue on this journey. Lord, I thank you in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen and glory to your name, Lord. Oh, thank you so much, Sister Thomas. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank May God continue to bless you and keep you and nourish your ministry that it may flourish over in the overflow. You know, because as you as you serve him, that's just what he does. Not that it you know, not that it is a name and a claim it, but when you bless him, he blesses the people. Hallelujah. He said, If I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. And you're lifting him up. You're lifting him up. You're using the platform for him and not for gain. You're using the platform to tell him thank you. You're using the platform to set people free. You're using the platform because he he knew that he he could trust you with this platform. He knew that. He knew that he could trust you with this platform. But you haven't seen anything yet. This is just this platform. God has many platforms because he said when you faithful over just a few, just the smallness of it, when you're consistent with it, he will bless you and raise you up higher. Yeah. Yeah. Just look for it. Walk in victory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Walk in victory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I want to thank you guys for listening to Walk in Purpose with Angela. I am your host, Angela Thomas-Smith, and you have been listening to our special guest, Dr. Virginia Bradshaw. I pray that you guys were blessed by this show on today, and I pray that you have a wonderful week walking in purpose on purpose. Continue to walk in purpose and let God direct your every step. Tune in next week, same time, same place. Thank you. Be blessed.